It is a privilege to be joined on the summit today by Todd Humphrey, who is the softball coach at Freed Hardeman. And Coach Humphrey, you have crossed another milestone, win number 600 in your coaching career for softball and specifically for softball. We'll talk about that a little bit more later. A 9-8 victory over Campbellsville took extra innings to get it done. But let's start with 600. Congratulations on hitting that number. Thank you very much. Uh, it's, a, it's a great milestone to hit. Uh, you, when you start coaching, as much as I've been coaching, you don't realize uh, how long you'll be doing it and what your goals are. And 600 was never really a number that I looked at. It was just it happened. Well, I have to ask then, this, this game was on the road, and it took extra innings. So you're, you're playing eight to get a 9-8 victory. First, did you know that it was going to be win number 600? And if you did or if you had some idea, did it feel like, hey, this is just not going to get here. We keep on playing, and it still hadn't happened. No, I, I knew where I was as far as numbers because I had uh, I had a family member. My, my son had talked to me a little bit about it uh, prior to uh, it happening. And uh, I knew that uh, I was close. And so uh, to get it on the road against Campbellsville is, is, is big just because they're one of our toughest teams we have in our conference. Uh, in past, we really never have played well at Campbellsville. So... I did not know exactly how our team would respond at their place on the road, but uh, we uh, we played well. And uh, when we did win the game in extra innings, uh, it was a relief. I will say that. <laughs> well, and they did play well. I, I believe you took three or four. We we play, we took three or four. Uh, Campbellsville. It's it's always I say always in the years past. It's been us and Campbellsville and University of Cumberland usually are at the top in our conference. And so I knew it'd be a good match, uh, good good series, and so uh, kind of going into that, knowing that we would have to play well, we came out, we scored early. Um, uh, we have a, a whole different dynamic on our team this year. Uh, you know, with all the graduation we we went through last year, so uh, we hit the ball really well. And I had a new pitcher on the mound who has just joined our our program this year, and uh, and she pitched well, and so. Uh, you know, when we got those hits, we needed it and, and put pressure on them. They, they uh, made a couple mistakes and it allowed us to take advantage of it, which, you know, that's what you want to do when the team makes a mistake is, is benefit from it. So, um, yeah, it was, it was just a, a big sigh of relief. You know, like I said, I felt like I'd get it at some point down the road. Just didn't know when, but to get it against Campbellsville, a very quality program on the road, uh, it, was, it was good. That makes for a nice memory. That, that oh, yes. It does. Yes. I have you at uh, unofficially at 602 and 415 in softball, but 602 wins, that's not really doesn't paint the whole picture for your college coaching career because up until recently, you were also the volleyball coach there at Freed Hardeman and 433 wins there as the volleyball coach as well. So you're well into four digits right now. I, that's that's just a that's an amazing, amazing number. Talk about coaching both sports at the same time. Well, you know, I, I really didn't know what I was getting into when I took the job 24 years ago. Uh, I had coached volleyball and softball in high school. Of course, in high school, uh, it's different semesters, and it's really not the grind as far as travel and recruiting and everything else. Uh, I got involved in volleyball back in 1986, 87, when I met my wife, who was a volleyball player and loved the sport. Uh and I really knew nothing about volleyball, but uh, just hanging around the game and, and working uh, as a, a student manager first to learn a little bit about the game. Uh, it's become one of those jobs that I really enjoy and I felt very comfortable doing. Uh, I was asked to uh, work here in 2000 for Coach Charlie Smith, and it was coaching both sports, uh, volleyball in the fall, softball in the spring. And after that first year, I really had to just say, you know, is there anything else you can do for me? Because I'm really, I'm really, you know, burning a candle at both ends, trying to stay awake and, and drive. And and uh, I was reminded early in that conversation that you know, Coach Humphrey, you have one job. You work at Freed Hardeman. That's your one job. You don't do two jobs. So uh, that's one one uh, memory I'll never forget. That uh, it doesn't matter what you do, you have one job. You work at Freed Hardeman. I will keep that in mind. <laughs> If I'm ever needing to send a resume there to Henderson, I will definitely keep that. <laughs> well, uh, you know, I'll, I'll I'll put a good word in for you. I so. appreciate that. We're missing that with Coach Todd Humphrey from Freed Hardeman. Who, by the way, back to back uh, 
shows here on the summit, which we had a chance to visit with coaches from Freed Hardeman. I don't know if we had back-to-back summits from the same school before we get to visit with Coach Stutz yeah. uh, earlier in the week. And it's a privilege to get to visit with you now. 600 wins as a softball coach. You gave up the reins as the volleyball coach just recently, but then you took over as the assistant athletic director as well. So uh, in listening to the conversation, how it's gone so far, I, I still have to ask, was there just not enough on the plate? Well, you know, I stay pretty busy and uh, what keeps me, keeps me looking young. <laughs> That's a joke, by the way. <laughs> um, you know, I, I live a lifestyle that I, I don't have much downtime and that's whether I'm at the house or where I'm at work. Uh, I, I don't do wells on days off and uh, I don't do well on uh, holidays. I kind of have a stir crazy time where I have to be doing something. Uh, my wife gives me a hard time about it, you know, just relax and I can't do it. Uh, I enjoy coaching both sports and I have a lot of memories of coaching uh, a lot of great young ladies, uh, a lot of memories, a lot of former players who I still have great contacts with. Uh, while here at, at Freed Harbin, you know, I've been coaching some type of sport for 37 years, which is a long time. Um, so when the opportunity came for me to to uh, make some changes, you know, I've always wanted to be in administration. I like to help every program. And uh, I've, I've tried, uh, I've applied at places for athletic director and assistant athletic director. And with the changeover we had with our athletic director in the past years at Freed Hardeman with uh, Coach Estes, uh, the opportunity came up again for me to be the assistant athletic director, which I accepted. And, uh, you know, I don't tell no one. I think I could do all three jobs still, but I don't want to. Uh, this allows me to be more involved in all the programs. Uh, just recently, I've, I'm, I'm in the process of trying to raise funds to build a, a brand new uh, tennis complex for our tennis program. Uh, we've put up uh, a lighting system for our cross country runners that can run at night now. Uh, hopefully soon we'll be in the process of uh, building a new indoor facility for our soccer programs. So the fact that I can do that with all the programs and be involved with making our, our athletic programs stronger and better I get to drive the bus for basketball teams, soccer teams, tennis teams. When I'm not working, I drive the bus for them to and from. So I get to watch free sports and, and eat good meals on the road and drive a bus. So uh, I'm very active with what I do. Uh, I'm also full uh, uh, work for security here on campus. Uh, so, uh, again, it's not much of a downtime, which, again, I don't want to go crazy. Just idle hands, I guess. No, I understand. And we want your wife to be well taken care of in that, too. Not not you being stir crazy around the house. You need to have something to do. <laughs> you know, I'm very I'm very lucky. I married a a uh, an athletic uh, young lady. Uh, I didn't know exactly what I was getting myself into uh, when I started this. But, uh, you know, we, we've been married quite a while and 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 uh, she's very supportive of me. She's a uh, Hall of Fame volleyball player. And uh, she also was a high school softball player. So she understands both the sports and she knows the sports really well. So very supportive. She comes to all my games. Uh, she's worked camps with me in the summer times. Uh, she gets involved with our teams. We have them out to our house for uh, Christmas parties and get togethers. She gets to know them uh, as a, as a uh, coach's wife, you know. And so uh, I'm very blessed that my wife is involved in my job. And uh, when I got the 600th win this past week, I drove home that night from Campbellsville, Kentucky, and I saw lights in my parking lot. And normally at that time of night, there would not be lights in my parking lot. And when I drove up, I noticed it was my family, and they had decorated my office with uh, balloons and, and a cake and everything else celebrating my 600th win. So my family is very involved in, in uh, uh, sports. My son is a softball coach. My daughter is a volleyball coach and uh my daughter-in-law is a volleyball coach my son-in-law is a football coach and so we are we're somewhere on an athletic field seem like all the time that that's got to be fun around especially gatherings around like thanksgiving and there's a lot to talk about i'm sure, sure. Uh, that that's awesome coach well let me let me ask you the about softball let's go back there 
Okay. Four seasons now with Freed Hardeman. Of course, you were talking about much more than that, but 24 with Freed Hardeman. I'd like to ask about this year's squad because the most recent milestone has come with this year's group. Your 2024 squad, when you look at this group, what stands out to you about this team? Youth. Uh, we have two seniors on the team, and, and our team is mainly made up of freshmen and sophomores. So we're very young. You know, when COVID hit a few years back, the uh, the college athlete was granted one more year of, of eligibility. And so uh, that's been great for some uh, to enjoy those those players who you can have for an extra year. Well, I think I counted up. We've last year due to graduation and other reasons because of COVID, uh, we graduated seven players off our, our team. So we have a very young team on the field right now with uh, experience and eligibility as, as well. Uh, my two seniors that are playing are both pitchers who've been involved in my program for the four years, but everybody else is just, you know, freshman, and sophomore. I have a couple of juniors, but, you know, we're very young. But uh, I feel like I feel like it's just a, a very – level team you know there's there's uh contributions from every position and uh the first time that i've been here at freed hardeman uh i've got multiple left-handed players in the lineup that i've I've usually have one maybe two but i think i have six now in the lineup so we've uh we have a different look about ourselves um but i enjoy it and uh i get to still teach some things if they still listen to me and uh and hopefully uh we're sitting pretty good in our conference right now with the, with the series win over Campbellsville, we're, we're number two in our conference. So uh, I feel like we're in a good position to do well in the postseason if we can stay healthy. And I have two on the, on crutches right now uh, from the Campbellsville series. We had a couple get hurt there. So we're hoping to get them back before the end of the season in time for a conference play. So. Well then, let me ask as we start to wrap up our time here is to preview the next series because you all are back at home. So that's a nice way to celebrate, be back at home starting tomorrow. And you're taking on the number five team in the country in Cumberland's right. And this should be a big conference weekend. So tell us a little bit about the, the matchup. Well, right now, if you can see, I'm looking out the window at rain falling down outside. So <laughs> we have had to push our game to a Saturday, Sunday uh, series okay. to allow some uh, drying to take place tomorrow. Uh, yeah, University of Cumberland's is a great program. They had the World Series last year. Uh, I, I know the coach real well. Uh, I guess it shows my my age when I coached against her when she was a player. Now so I'm coaching against her as a coach. Uh, they're a very strong team, a very athletic team. Uh, I think they're I think they're probably a top three team in the nation. I know they're number five right now. I imagine. Uh, the next poll might have them a little bit different. But we look forward to playing them here at home. Our season started out with 16 games on the road. We were uh, we were on the road for the first 16 uh, uh, games match uh, setup. So uh, we're, we're glad to be home for anybody right now. And the fact that we have to play the number five team at home is going to be a bonus. Uh, sleeping in my own bed and things like that, it's just a little bit of a bonus getting pre- prepared for a game. But uh, it should be a good matchup. Uh, we know each other really well. Uh, we've had success against them in the past, and they they put it to us last year. So hopefully it's our turn again. All right. Coach Todd Humphrey, thank you so much for taking time with us today. And congratulations on win number 600. And as a coach, uh, well past 1,000 with both softball and volleyball. But success to you all, to the Lions. And, and uh, hope you are able to have a, a nice dry or at least sort of dry field for a great matchup this weekend. Thanks for taking time with us today. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.